Hello, and welcome to another episode of What Is It? Today's episode features the innovative yet mysterious material, Thermonite. You are probably asking yourself, hmm, Thermonite, what is it? Well, we're here today to answer that very question. Is it a rock? No. Is it a colorful exotic wood? Wrong again. It's actually a man-made composite material comprised of epoxy resin and paper. But what can we do with it? Almost anything you can do with wood or plastic. Its inventor, James Thurman, has spent more than a decade making a wide variety of objects from it, including everything from small jewelry to larger lathe-turned plates. But you're probably wondering, how did Thurman start making this wondrous and versatile material? In 2001, Thurman collaborated with artist Chuck Cave to create awards for a green design symposium using recycled books bolted together with hardware. While making the trophies, Thurman noticed the patterns on the edges of the cut books and wondered if it would be possible to eliminate the hardware and just glue all the pages of the books together. Over the next year, Thurman experimented with a variety of adhesives, materials, and processes. Thurman felt lathe turning the pieces would reveal the patterns best. In the years since then, Thurman has continued to experiment with different adhesives and papers, as well as a variety of woodworking techniques to create finished artworks. But you are probably curious about how Thermonite is made. First, always be sure to take the appropriate safety precautions, preferably a full-face, chemically-rated respirator and disposable gloves. Select non-glossy paper, preferably recycled. Then use an appropriate resin to bond each layer of paper together. To begin, properly mix the resin. Thoroughly coat each sheet of paper and again And again. Until you have the desired thickness. Because it's a very labor-intensive and repetitive process, it can almost be zen-like to make. Then let cure under pressure as per resin's directions.
and wait patiently. Once the resin is cured, it can be worked in ways similar to woodworking. As an example, let's make one of Thurman's signature bangle bracelets. First, drill out the center hole. Then cut the outer shape. Then rough sand the general shape, revealing the playful pattern of the thermonite. Further sanding to refine the pattern and finish. Finally, polishing. Ta-da! A brand new Thermonite bangle bracelet. Now you know the answer to what is it? It's Thermonite. <laughs>